It's finally time to dance for the Raging Cajuns. It sure is. Louisiana men's basketball is just a few hours away from tipping off in the NCAA tournament, and we are in Orlando with the Cajuns. Sports director Seth Lewis has more on the tournament. Hey, Seth. Hey Marcel, welcome to the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida, where in just a few hours, UL will take on Tennessee in the NCAA tournament. Now the Cajuns are the 13th seed and are considered an underdog, but March Madness is all about the Cinderella story, and we'll see if the glass slipper fits tonight. Louisiana is 11 point underdogs according to Vegas, but can use the past to inspire their hopes. In recent years, small schools like St. Peter's or Loyola Chicago have made deep improbable runs in the tournament. And when it comes to 13 seeds in the tourney, they've pulled four upsets in their last 13 chances, including Furman who knocked off Virginia earlier today in Orlando. Louisiana admits to dreaming of their one shining moment, but they can't nap on the task at hand. I think it's, it always crosses your mind. So it's, it's something that it may come up, it may be a thought, but at the same time, we have to realize that it is one game at a time. And in order to get to three games or however many games, you have to take care of the first one. You gotta like learn to uh, take certain teams' tendencies away and just really just key in on certain things because it's gotta like be able to uh, go through adversity and just understand that like uh, both teams are gonna make a run. I mean, you just gotta just take each play by play by play, like this one by one by one. Louisiana and Tennessee tip off at 840 Lafayette time, 940 here in Orlando. This will be the Cajuns third time facing the Vols in the NCAA tournament. If Louisiana would be able to pull off the upset, it would be their first tourney win since 1992. Now on an injury note, LCA product Greg Williams Jr. has been in a walking boot, but in the press conference yesterday, he admitted that he would be good to go for this game. Now coming up at six, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick will join me here in Orlando as we discuss keys to the game for the Cajuns and Vols. But for now, from Orlando, Seth Lewis, KTC Sports.